Ladies and gentlemen, what an honor it is to be able to introduce our special guest on Bang TV, a member of the fabulous Briscoe family, the great professional wrestler that I knew many years ago, had much competition with you, Jerry Briscoe. Well, Dory, I can't tell you what an honor it is for me to be here on Bang TV with you. I mean, you're a fellow Hall of Famer. We've been inducted just about every Hall of Fame there is in our sport and in our industry. That says a lot about you and a lot about the Bristol man. In some of the greatest wrestling matches of the glory days of professional wrestling were between Jack and Jerry Briscoe, my brother Terry and myself, single matches between myself and Jerry Briscoe, myself and your brother Jack Briscoe, and you guys really brought credibility to professional wrestling, and it's an honor to have you here today. Uh, we've got the official record book, uh -oh. and uh, I just want to bring up a wrestling match that took place in 1972, Dory Funk Jr. against Jerry Briscoe for the World's Championship. And that match went on for a one-hour draw. Uh, Dory, that was my very first world title match. As you know, you were the great NWA champion at that time and the world champion of all of professional wrestling at that time. And I guess i got to tell you what an honor that was. That took place Thanksgiving Day 1970 in front of 16,000 people in Greensboro, North Carolina. And I had the honor of going in the ring with, with, with the NWA world champion, Dory Funk Jr., and wrestling to an hour draw. Well, at the end, end of an hour, I can guarantee you, I was happy to walk out of that ring still with the NWA world championship. But then later in Richmond, Virginia, I caught Jerry Briscoe and got a, got a victory over Jerry Briscoe. But I beat you in Richmond, Virginia about two weeks later. But I got you in Amarillo, Texas about a month later. Well, if you'll look in Tokyo, Japan, I beat you about six months later. What about where in Orlando, Florida, where Terry and myself beat you and Jack Briscoe? Yeah, but Dory, if you go down to San Juan, Puerto Rico at the Roberto, Roberto Coliseum, or Roberto Clemente Coliseum in front of about 25,000 screaming Puerto Ricans, Jack and I beat Dory Funk and Terry Funk in a title match in San Juan, Puerto Rico. How about St. Louis, Missouri in 1972? I got a victory over you in a World Heavyweight Championship match. Well, in Houston, Texas, oh, no, I beat much. you in a single match. What about this one right here? What's that say? That says, well, let me let me just bring you up today, and I know you're getting old and you don't have your bifocals on right now, but in 1972, in a lights-out match, it says right here, Tampa, Florida, Jack and Jerry Briscoe beat Dory Funk and, and Terry Funk in a lights-out match, which means that was the end. That was the total end, a lights-out match. We beat you guys, and you guys done decided right then you didn't want any more of the Briscoe brothers. Well, I'm not sure about that because... Like this you is say, your. I, this I don't is, have my glasses. Dory, this is your official record book. Oh, it's my book. It's your official record book. I didn't bring this up here. You. This is something you did, and it's right here in black and white. What man. about Albuquerque, New Mexico, in 1973? Well, that was that Don Slatton down there, and he always had crooked referees. I got so many memories, but we've so got so many to, memories, and, and, I, and I got to say, what an honor it is. It's a memory. And, and, and in every wrestling historian in the entire world will tell you, one of the greatest natural rivalries in this business is the Funks and the Briscoes. The Funks and the Briscoes. Are the Briscoes and the Funks. 